Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tip Tuesday. This week is going to be all about things you should ask when you visit an RV dealership or things that should be asked of you. As always, I have no idea how many I'm going to do and they're in no real particular order unless while I'm doing it, one of them pops up and I'm like, that should have been number one. The first thing that I can think of that a dealership should ask you when you visit is all about your family size and where you're going to be camping. These are very important things. We're sitting inside the 22 MLS right now. It is one of our smaller travel trailers, but as you can see, it's still roomy. But if you had, say, a family of four that you were going to take camping all the time, this probably isn't going to be the camper for you. That's going to help narrow down your selection of where you go. And you know, in previous Tip Tuesdays, we've talked about knowing your budget before you get there. Those are important things too. But if they don't ask you, make sure that you start telling them about your family and where you plan to go. Tip two of things you need to ask or should be asked of you when you visit an RV dealership. Can my tow vehicle tow it? This is so important. I'm not saying that there's dealerships out there that would sell you something that your truck can't pull. I don't think that that exists. If it does, shame on them. But it's a good question to ask. Again, it's going to narrow that focus of what you can look at at the dealership. And it's going to make sure like you don't come into this 295 RL, fall in love with it, realize you can only tow 6,000 pounds and this thing weighs 11,260 pounds. So they should ask you if they don't, make sure that you ask them. Bring it up immediately so it's important to know your tow vehicle capacity before you get there. If you didn't watch our previous video, super easy to find that out. I went through this four or five years ago when I first got into camping as well. I have a Ford. I got on Ford's website. I had my VIN number. I got on an online chat with somebody at Ford. I gave them the VIN number. They sent me a link to all the specifics of my vehicle. We here can also help you find that. We can go out and pull that VIN number information from your truck. Remember though, it's very important that you can have the same truck, same year, same everything, and one's four wheel drive and one's not, and that's totally gonna change the tow capacity. So don't assume that you can just come in and say, I have a 2008 Ford F350 Super Duty, and that means they're gonna know exactly what you can tow. Tip three of things you should ask. We're sitting in the bunk room. I'm trying to switch it up, guys. I'm trying to give you a different look here. Things you should ask. What is the price really? In previous videos, when we were talking about financing and stuff, we talked about hidden fees, you know, dock fees, prep fees, all this other stuff. So you want to make sure and say, what is the price really? Uh, for instance, when you come here, this price is your price. Now, when you go in the back and you look at service packages and stuff like that, that can change. But when you get back there, if you decline all that other stuff, this is your price. We do have a sale going on right now where you get to take additional amount off, but we'll ignore that. For the purposes of this video, it's just important for them to tell you what all of those fees are. That's something that you need to again ask, say you love the camper, they say that's the price you're going to pay. That's it right there. You get into financing and that price is different. Look, until you put ink to paper, you have not signed anything. So it's very important that you ask questions. Why is that price different from what the salesperson showed me out on the floor? Tip four, ask the question, what does my warranty cover? Do I need an extended warranty plan? So you're going to see a lot of stickers that talk about a two year, a three year. They always have some kind of a limit to them. Ask questions. Know exactly what's covered on your camper. Know that if they offer like a uh, extended warranty, what that means. Do you have to bring it to their service department specifically and get that documented in order for that warranty to be applicable anymore? These are questions you need to ask. This is going to be yours you almost always know exactly what your car warranty covers. These should be no different. So that's tip number four. Tip five, ask questions about their service department. If you live in the vicinity and you plan on having your service done there, most places should take you for a tour of their service department while you're there. If they don't, ask them if you can take a tour. Ask them how many certified technicians they have. 
find out what kind of wait time it is for uh, getting in for simple things like every year if you want to come in and have your bearings packed or you want to have your seals checked and stuff ask the questions take some time even maybe get on Google search out that company and look at their service reviews you know uh, it's super easy in today's age to jump on Google, leave a review. That's my most trusted area that I look at. And you know, you're going to see a lot of honest opinions there. So it's important or Google the surrounding area. Maybe you found the best price camper at one place, but you found a service department at a better or at a different place. Knowledge is power with this and the power is all yours. All right. So the last two I'm going to combine into one. So this is just going to be tip six. Does it include an inspection? This can tie into that whole hidden fee thing or fees in addition to what you see there. Ask if they include an inspection of the camper. Again, I talk about us specifically here at Walnut Ridge. When you buy, we do a full inspection of the camper. So that's gonna check all of the appliances. That's gonna check the propane. That's gonna check the water. I mean, everything gets checked before you come and pick up your camper. Important to ask because the last thing you want to do is pick up your camper, head out that following weekend on a trip and have all kinds of problems. And if they are charging you, you at least need to know what that charge is and maybe you can negotiate that out of your, uh, your buying. The last one is, does this include an orientation? I strongly encourage you to push for an orientation if you can't. There's tons of little bells and whistles on these campers that a lot of people don't realize. I mean, you know, when we bought our new Cougar, we had auto leveling, we had the in command system, we had uh, the, the tank flush that we never had before. All of these things were brand new to us and my wife and I are seasoned campers, but we'd had a travel trailer, so these features were all new. It was absolutely great, even as an employee here at Walnut Ridge, to spend some time with our service people do a detailed walkthrough of the entire camper. And I'll be honest, our first camper that we bought, I bought a, or I had a GoPro, I bought a little head mount for it, and I actually recorded the entire walkthrough. That way I had that to reference back on if I wanted. A lot of RV dealers websites will host those orientation videos, not of the individual people, but they'll just do an orientation video of a camper. So that's an excellent resource too. Worst case scenario, if they don't offer it, I don't know that it's a deal breaker. YouTube's a terrific resource to find specific things about your camper. The one thing that you will find is that the RV community is an awesome community. I strongly encourage you to join Facebook forums, follow RV dealers, uh, like we post regular stuff daily. Uh, but be part of that community and le lean on that community to help you out. Okay, everyone. That was another Tip Tuesday. Guys, thank you for all the suggestions. We're so glad you're liking it and we love bringing you stuff. If you have a suggestion for a Tip Tuesday, leave a comment down below. If you want more details about anything that I talked to, because I kept it on a kind of a higher broad level, if you want me to get in the weeds on anything or grab one of our experts, just let me know below and we'd be happy to do it. Have a great day.